degrees further south. And so 12 degrees in some places, but quite a shocking store for the system for the weekend because we're going to switch that wind around to the north, all the way down from the frozen north. So quite a plunge in temperature as we go through Saturday and through Sunday as well. Now today, powerful westerly winds have brought frequent showers across many parts of the country. And we can pick out one band of heavy showers, even thunderstorms, which came through Shropshire during the early part of the afternoon. There was then thunder at Nottingham at 3 o'clock, and thunderstorms went through the southeast of England about 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock. And that's the radar picture just a little time ago. Still fairly number, uh, frequent uh, showers across the country at the moment, all coming around this low pressure over northern Scotland. Quite severe gales across many parts of the country at the moment, gusting up to 50, 60, 70 miles an hour in some places, especially when those showers come through. The shower's keeping going then over northern and western parts of Britain right the way through the night. And it's turning colder all the while up in the north, so many of those showers are of sleet and snow up on the higher ground already and coming down to lower ground as well as the night goes on, say about 300 metres or so. Showers down the western side of England and Wales too, a few running through the English Channel, but the showers on the eastern side will fade away fairly quickly during this evening. For most places, temperatures will stay reasonably well up, about 3 to 5 degrees because of the strength of the wind. But certainly where the snow begins to settle in the north, there will be some slippery roads to watch out for through tonight. Now tomorrow's chart's quite interesting. A couple of changes taking place. Look at the one in the north. That's the change in the wind direction from this westerly to a northerly up in the far north of Scotland later on. This area of low pressure off the Atlantic also will bring some wet and windy weather back into the southwest during the latter part of the day, probably tomorrow evening. But for many places tomorrow, a mixture of sunshine and showers just about sums it up. There will be some sunshine in all parts. In fact, for many sheltered eastern parts of England and maybe southeast Scotland too, Showers few and far between, but there'll be plenty of showers in the west and the north, and those showers turn increasingly to sleet and snow, even down to lower levels over northern Scotland by the time the day is out. Temperatures, if anything, a degree down on today, a couple of degrees down perhaps in some spots, six in the north, about nine degrees down across southern England. And then tomorrow night we'll see this windy weather coming in from the southwest, this new area of low pressure, which will bring a wet spell of weather across many southern parts during Saturday. Further north, now the England cricket.